welcome back guys to another video this is T Bricks here and today guys I'm gonna be creating another tutorial and this time it's gonna be on like a rage runner kind of game so let's get started with the video so of course it's not going to be that advanced as rage runner but yeah let's just get started so let's get the base plate and let's start by changing this to like a lava color so let's get the set color and we're gonna make it a little bit more like lava not really though but let's make this smooth so it's not gonna have like that kind of, like studs on it and then I'm also gonna make this smooth plastic so it doesn't look like just regular plastic and now I'm just gonna like scale the space plate a little so it, it would be smaller and we would, and plus we're gonna be using like a lot less space so yeah so what are we gonna do is we're gonna go to starter player and we're gonna like set all of this stuff first so I'm just gonna change the name display distance and after that I'm gonna like create max zoom distance I'm gonna like, change it to 40 and the walk speed I'm gonna be changing that to 40 as well you guys don't really have to do the max zoom distance but I'm just going to choose that and I'm also going to be choosing the walk speed because that's the speed of the player so what are we going to do I'm just going to like create like a quick barrier so like a blue barrier to make it look nicer so we could do this for like all four sides so like there and all I gotta do and just gonna create the sign and I'm gonna move it and then I copy duplicate here we go so I'm just gonna like like turn off global shadows and I'm gonna also turn up the lighting looks like hopefully that changes it and so I want to be creating like a part like our start part where like people start on so I gotta like elevate this so otherwise people won't fall so let's change this to like a green color so, and yeah, I'm just going to name all of these four walls. So I'm just going to name this wall. Now, I'm going to like set a spawn point. Let's go here, let's get spawn. And after that, we want to change the decal. We want to do that, and we're going to set this to can't collide with equal false. That would mean that players could like just move through the spawn location and I'm going to set the transparency to one so it's invisible basically so now I guess we're gonna like set we're gonna like make this folder so let's place all this inside the folder now I'm gonna call this the base parts and after that I'm gonna make another folder it's gonna be called the map just so everything is just way neater and also we are going to be setting up the lava so let me just put that in there put the spawn location in there so okay the base play is technically the lava so I just want to put that and make sure you anchor everything because then everything is just gonna fall so you gotta anchor these two so yeah, in the lava, we're going to create a new script. So let's go to script, and we're going to do this. So script dot parent dot touch connect function hit. Very simple. So we're going to do local humanoid with equal to hit dot parent find first child, and it would be human. 
After that, humanoid uh, health, so basically the health of the player, may be equal to zero. Now, once we have done that, we're gonna make our little map. I'm just gonna make this temporarily, but yeah. So I'm gonna set that there. Probably, I'm just do that. Now I'm gonna, ah, nope. So there, there. And after that, I'm gonna have the finished part. So I duplicate that. I'm gonna make the finished part. Yeah, call this a finish part. Wrong. So I'm gonna anchor all this. I'm gonna make one more since you gotta guarantee that no one actually fails at this. Because otherwise, people aren't going to play our game. And let's test it. So now, see, our walk speed is very fast. And we could do the parkour. And see, we are finished. But, but guys, if we, like, fall... So like say we are doing this and we we fall accidentally, then we die. It's basically it. It's ba it's kind of like a obby you could say. So yeah. And also, guys, we're also going to set up uh, maybe like leader stats. So we're gonna do game dot players dot Player added, connect function, player. I'm going to do local leader stats, will equal to instance dot, dot new folder. Next, I want to do leader stats dot name will equal to leader stats and leader stats dot parent will equal to player. So now I'm just gonna set up like a leaderboard kind of value. So instance dot new I'm gonna say number value and wins wins dot parent would equal to leader stats. Yeah I forgot to add wins dot name would equal to wins. And that's pretty split. So now we're gonna set a bubble chat. So we gotta go to chat, then bubble chat enable, like which is true. So then yeah. And also let's create like a teleporter. Gonna be like very low budget teleport though. Actually, let me get like a dummy so we can like see how big the character will be. Uh, this is okay. That's not bad. Hmm. I think we should have like a lighter gray. And same thing. So then I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna scale it. So now we got that done. I'm gonna make the actual part.
And we want to make like a yellow. I'm gonna make this a neon. So that's that kind of thing. I'm gonna group this and make this a model. We call it teleporter. So yeah. You guys can also make this like a speed run map, I guess. All you gotta do is just use is like the same basics. But like for the teleporter, yeah, that's it. And we're gonna make like a little space for the winners. So I'm gonna like do this. Like so if you finish you'll get on this platform. So yeah. Let me just make this little space. And then through that, set the transparency to one. And after that, I'm gonna group this and make this called the end space. Yeah. So now I gotta do, I'm gonna like create another part. This is gonna be called teleport. And yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the teleporter script. So let's go to the main part, let's go to the script. Let's open up the script, we'll go to the script dot parent dot touch, which would mean that if someone touches this part, then that would mean that this function would run. After that, we're going to just local player or equal hit dot parent and find first child human. And after that, we're going to do, we're going to do player dot torso plus C frame or equal to. Let's get the teleport. Let's get the position. So, yeah. I'm gonna make this can collide will equal off and the transparency will equal one. Oh yeah, we gotta do C frame dot new. And I'm gonna put all this in the brackets. I gotta do jump, 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 and see we teleport over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the teleporter. I want to change the script a little. Let's name another uh, like a variable. So local player would equal game dot players. Yep, player from character hit dot parent. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do player dot leader stats dot wins dot value with plus equals one. So that means the wins, like how many wins you have, will increase by one. So let's play. So let's jump, 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 jump. And bam, see we get number of wins. So yeah, and all we gotta do is we gotta give this a weight. So hopefully it wouldn't give us like so many wins. Let's jump, 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 jump. And see that was a lot better. But we could make that even better. So, look, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do local db would equal false. And then I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna do if db would equal false, equals equals false, then, and then. 
bb will equal true one bb will equal false so now let's try it again oh, 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 oh. And then bam, see we only get one win this time, not like 21 wins. So yeah guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye guys.